travel the back roads for very long and you will soon develop an eye for the unusual. And unusual usually leads us to a story. Call me crazy, but to see a sousaphone strapped to a beetle heading down a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, well, that's not exactly something you see every day. So we had no choice but to follow and see where this unusual occurrence might take us. Our pursuit ended in Knox City, Texas, neighborhood and home of Delbert Lloyd, where in a simple metal garage, Delbert and a few trusty helpers are conducting a symphony of repair work. Hey, Rob, what you got today? Hi, Delbert. Hey. Brought a phone for you. Right. Keep us in business. We repair musical instruments, band instruments, wind instruments, uh, brass and woodwinds, and uh, we even do uh, violin bows. We uh, do whatever they need done. Uh, if it's a minor repair or a major overhaul, we'll do that here. Seems that from Seymour to Stanford, Haskell to Hamlin, West Texas musicians with beat up, bent, messed up, and broken instruments soon find their way to Delbert. It actually surprises me. Uh, I had no idea that uh, rural America would have a little old technician shop like this. It's just developed, and all of us are kind of amazed. People in town are just flabbergasted. They can't understand why we'd have, I mean, can't ima imagine us having something like this. There's a lot of tweaking, grinding, pounding, and polishing in this line of work, but a job well done is, well, music to Delbert's ears. We've got enough to keep us busy for a long time. <laughs> it's fun and, and gratifying and, and, um, and, and makes the kids happy and they, because they don't like instruments that don't play. Uh, this is an instrument that we came in here. It was real dirty, real was tarnished bad. We internal cleaned it, uh, worked on the Armada key. Uh, this is a key, uh, water key that's designed by Doc, Doc Severinsen, the trumpet player. Uh, polished it and it's ready to go again. When Delbert started this repair business, he never thought he would need help healing horns. But with Albert Reese and Beverly Van Berger, he gets in a day's work times three, and the apprentices get to learn from the master. They're the kind of people that you like to have working for you, people that take pride in their work, uh, that are perfectionist type. And if they have that ability of mechanical and you show them some principles, and then they can take that and be creative and, and do a good job. We, we, try, we take a lot of pride in our work, and there's a lot of power in pride. Um, you know, when you have pride, uh, that goes a long way because it comes back full circle. People see the kind of work that's being done and they, they, they come back for you. What do you think about when you're doing that? Mm, trying to get it perfect. That's what I think about. Can you get it perfect? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Delbert's pride comes from keeping overhead low and quality high. So when the tractor barn gets full, you move the plating operation to the laundry room, the violin bow repair to the storm shelter, and most importantly, always keep in mind that the work you do brings happiness to others. It makes me feel good to, uh, to help these kiddos out. A young lady was playing a trumpet and uh, the, the lead pipe had been taped because it was broken. We ordered a brand new silver lead pipe put it on there, polished the entire instrument, took out a few little dents on it, and um, when we delivered it back to her, the, the, the girl actually cried. She was just so pleased with that job, and that just pleases us. 
Sometimes our curiosity leads us to the most unusual things in the most unlikely of places. In Knox City, Texas, Dilbert Lloyd has instrumented a business that means a great deal to the folks who play these horns. And after a day of watching Delbert work, we found out it means a lot to him as well. Music is, is life. It, it's been my friend uh, since I saw Kirk Douglas play uh, The Man with the Horn, a black and white uh, movie years ago when I was a little boy. I was inspired and uh, <laughs> I've stayed with it ever since. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.